five, four, three, two, one. Heart of New Ulm is ingrained in our community. It's no longer a buzz, it's a mainstay. I think that this is it in action. So you see at the opening bell, there's so many people. If you talk to our vendors, they're actually selling out of the produce, and now we see that the community is really making a cultural change. And you coming here is, is absolute positive proof. It's a great opportunity for our entire community. I think it gives people access to healthy vegetables, fruits, and and it gives an outlet for local people who, who grow this on their farm. Sweet corn was picked at at uh, 11.30 this morning, it's as fresh as you're going to get it. The bag isn't big enough. I have leeks here that I got at the farmer's market today, and some fresh tomatoes. They have yellow and red, and I'm going to do even more. My name is Topher Jacobson, and I'm the chef and owner of the two restaurants, New Chef Pantry and Pepper Boy Wood Fired Pizza in New Ulm. Well, tonight we have our weekly cooking class that we sponsor with the Heart of New Ulm. And I went to the farmer's market uh, about four o'clock today and picked out some ingredients that we're gonna use with tilapia. We're gonna have them prepare tilapia and become more familiar with that fish and how to use some of the things that are available to us at the market. We're very excited that, and, and a little blown away that we're moving at this speed. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Health food doesn't necessarily mean no fats, and it doesn't necessarily mean no dairy, or no eggs, or no meat. It just means let's be moderate about these things but more importantly, let's cook them properly. And I think the cooking techniques is what got lost here in the last 20 years. Everybody wants the fresh food now because of Heart of New Ulm. They wanna try the recipes, they wanna do all the stuff and everything. Where before it was like, well, maybe I'll, I can do that, but I don't know if my neighbor's doing it. Now you know your neighbor's doing it. So you just get right in there and get going on it. Windings is a manufacturing company. We employ right about 90 people. At Windings, particularly being employee owned, we're very invested in figuring out how to do the right thing for the employees that work here. We want to create a good quality of life for all the employees. And Hardin Walm has really given us the handle and some nice resources to be able to really implement that in the way that we have always wanted to do. We are convinced that that will result in a tangible benefit to the company of reduced health care costs and reduced claims. Many people in this company have made wonderful health care improvements and you can really see it. Um, people have more energy, um, productivity is getting better, your morale is better, not only in, in your home life, in your work life, feeling better about yourself helps other people feel better about themselves. We also as a company have offered you know, people a little um, a pedometer called the Fitbit that they measures their, their steps and so forth during the day and we've used that as the um, springboard to have some competitions, if you will, friendly competitions, some individual and some team competitions. I got yeah. uh, 17,588 steps. Uh, I'm at 2,799, lots of sitting today. And yeah, I'm at 3,423. It's definitely motivating. Our individual goal is to try to meet 10,000 steps a day. So you're constantly looking at your Fitbit to see where you're at and how much more you have to do yet and after you go home or if I have enough during the day. If you go to the lunchroom, you definitely see different stuff that's sitting around on the on the counters for snacks you know a lot less of the of the uh, high fat and candy kind of stuff and a lot more fruit and vegetables when we review the information five years after the start of this project data um, hard data on the health of this community we're seeing phenomenal changes for the better and I think now what we're experiencing is um, we've seen a cultural shift and when I say cultural shift, I mean the behaviors, the norms, the values of a community. When the Heart of New Ulm project started in 2007, we had just over a thousand members at our facility working out. Um, and today we have just over 5,000.
We have some existing outdoor equipment, outdoor fitness equipment, but it's, it's very, very old. The program is unique in the fact that they're not losing weight and getting rewarded themselves, but they've chosen to provide the reward to their community. So Newall Medical Center Foundation and United Health Group have provided $100,000 that they're working towards earning. And if they meet certain goals over the next year as a community, they will earn new equipment for their parks. And it's equipment focused on adults. So when kids are out playing, adults can be out there exercising too. I know that we can do it. I know the citizens of New Ulm can do this. That $100,000 for uh, trail signs for the bike trail, uh, also for exercise equipment out in the, in the various different parks of the city of New Ulm. Just a perfect, beautiful idea and a great project. Heart of New Ulm has changed my life because now I care about myself. In my life, I always tell people I have three things. First comes God, then comes my family, then comes my job. Well, now I've kind of stuck Denise in there too. The reason I'm doing the Heart of Nuwam project is because of my 12 grandchildren. I want to be around for them and be able to play with them, not be sitting on the sideline. My daughter said, Mom, your grandkids need you, so you need to take care of yourself. So I've been really trying to um, eat healthy and I'm feeling so much better. It's just, it's great. I've been exercising every day. I put that on my priority list just like I would brushing my teeth every day. I make sure I at least get 45 minutes to an hour exercising every day. They want their grandma around, so that's what I'm working on, taking care of myself. You'll see it in people's eyes. You'll see it in the way they bounce when they walk because they're from New Ulm. We are heart healthy.